What happens when you're only 29 years old and you're told that you only have one year to live? Take a look. I think I was born to be a chef. It was my calling. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. It's just something that I have to do. My name is Fatima. I'm 29 years old and a few weeks ago, my doctor said that I have only one year to live. Hi, Fatima. What did you make for us? Chai mousse, a chai and chocolate sauce. Right after filming Top Chef, it was supposed to be one of the most exciting times in my life. And I was in the hospital because I was newly diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. When I was diagnosed, it was obviously incredibly jarring. It was the biggest shock of my life. But I knew that the only way I was gonna beat this was through positivity and rallying people around me. Just keep moving, keep plowing through every obstacle that came my way. I can't believe that we are going to go and see you very soon, Ellen. It's just definitely a big moment in both of our lives. You know, going through Fatima's illness for the last, like, 14 months, there have been times when Fatima has had to go through chemotherapy days on end, and all we did was watch Ellen every day, <laughs> and the shows have played such a huge role of comfort for us. We're very excited to be your new best friends. Yeah, and thank, and thank you. Please come over for dinner, and we will cook you all of this delicious vegetarian food. Food, that I make. yeah. I made a special taco for you guys tonight. Truffles! Yeah. I'm so looking forward to this next year because I'm surrounded with so much positivity. I'm so lucky to have friends and family like I do. And we are going to be taking an entire tour of the world, eating all this absolutely delicious food. And I know that's the only way to get through this. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Cut. From New York, please welcome Fatima Ali. Am I saying it right, Fatima? Yes, Fatima. You, you can call me Fati. Uh, Fati? Yeah. Okay, do people call you Fati? Yeah, my friends do. All right, well then I'll call you. Like I said, you're becoming my new best friend. No, I am your best yeah, friend now. perfect. We, we're for sure best friends. So uh, this is very inspiring. You get on Top Chef. First they came to you and wanted you to be on the show, yeah. and you said, no, I'm not ready, come back later. That's which right. Is amazing. <laughs> yeah. So th how many years later did they come back to you? Two. Okay, two years later, then you're on Top Chef, mm -hmm. and you do pretty well. Yeah, I do pretty well, um, and thanks to the fans, I actually, um, I won fan favorite. Fair, yes. Which, which some people say is better than winning the whole thing. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so I have that under my belt. Um, and Top Chef was absolutely incredible. I made wonderful friends. They've been so supportive through this entire journey. Yeah, so, okay, so you're on Top Chef, then you're off Top Chef, and it's like a, a year or so after you're off the show, right? No, it was a few months after oh, just a few I was months. diagnosed, yes. Okay, and how, how, what did you feel that you thought you needed to see a doctor? So after, maybe two months after filming, I had this dull ache in my left shoulder, which I ignored for a couple more months. Um, I got an MRI, and within four hours, he calls me on my cell phone. And he's like, look, I hate to do this on the phone, but I don't want to waste any time. He's like, this could be something very serious. I feel like you should call some family to help you through because I'm gonna refer you to an oncologist. So um, after we uh, went to Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York and I got my biopsy and it came back that it was Ewing sarcoma. Which is usually uh, a, a pediatric, right? Yeah. So this is so rare. So Absolutely. It's, it's not just pediatric, it's, it's pediatric and male? White or? male. White male. Yeah. Okay. Little, little white boy cancer. Right. You're, mm -hmm. you, you're a little white boy in your soul. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Um, okay, so you go through chemo, you go through everything, uh, you think it's all clear, they yeah. think it's all clear. Yeah, that's right. And then all of a sudden, how did this come up that they say you have a year left? So in July, I had clear scans. Uh, I was technically cancer-free. 
and I had this weird ache in my left hip after we moved to Los Angeles, and I had this nagging feeling that something wasn't right, so we went back to New York, got another PET scan, and my doctor sat us down, and they were like, look, the cancer's back, it's metastasized, the chemo has not worked. And I looked at my doctor and I was like, tell me straight, like how long do I have? And he's like, a year. It's a lot. It's, yeah, that's a lot to hear. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. Yeah. But life is crazy. Yeah, it is. And, uh, God. And you're so special. You're so such a special little white boy. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break. We're going to talk about your plan yeah. and uh, hear what you're going to do. Awesome. All Thank right, you. we'll be back. So let's talk about this. And I, I was saying during the break, um, this is really hard. I, uh, I, it's, it's never fair. Anyone who is dealing with anything, you just think this isn't fair. Um, but, uh, y you know, you get to live the way we're all supposed to live. And who knows what tomorrow brings. You just happen to have this th diagnosis. But we all should be living like that because we, none of us know what tomorrow is. Um, so what is, your, what is your bucket list? What are you doing? What's, what's now? Well, um, I get to cross this off my bucket list. This is huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I really like, I'd like to meet Twitch at some point. All right. Where's Twitch? You should meet Twitch. What up, what up? Twitch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Okay, cross that off, too. Um, but uh, honestly, um, I have so many restaurants I want to go to around Europe. You're obviously invited. So is Portia. And, um, <laughs> you know, go to Italy, go to France, go to Spain, go to South Africa, go on like a safari. So many things I want to do. You should for sure go on safari. Yeah. Yes, and uh, so you, you just want to travel the world, eat at some of the best restaurants, and your friends have started a GoFundMe page to help with expenses, right? That's right, and um, you know, we're going to give um, a lot of it to, for research for Ewing Sarcoma as well, to the foundation. So I've been very lucky. I have wonderful Top Chef friends. Adrian set up the GoFundMe, and it's just, it's exploded. It's and great. Padma's been a good friend to you yeah. as well. She was there with you. I saw the, the photos of that. That's great. She's That's right. We love her. All right, well, um, we want to be a part of, of helping with that. So our friends at Shutterfly want to make sure that you get to do everything you want to do, so they're giving you a check for $50,000. Oh, my God. To help. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh!